all right everybody welcome to your very first tutorial for designing responsive website actually it's not really designing responsive websites it's more about converting existing websites to responsive because i think that uh, if you are aiming to design a website responsive then it's pretty straightforward you just get to bootstrap and uh, some documentation online on the internet and you just follow along and all that good stuff happens automatically right but creating or you know rather converting an existing website to responsive if you can do that then you probably do not even need bootstrap if you are only using bootstrap for responsive web design right so and yeah most most of the developers i have seen or you know I have talked to use bootstrap only because it provides a responsive framework and a great framework obviously so if you are just using bootstrap for getting a responsive design or maybe you have an existing website which is uh, not responsive and uh, um, i don't know any sort of reason you want to convert your website into responsive so this web series is for you so i'll be going to share how I used to convert myself my websites or the other clients website which I have worked in the past trust me I have done a lot of websites responsive in the past I used to work as a freelance developer at, at Fiverr in the past so I have seen a lot of worse websites than mine right now so yeah my, my website is not responsive right now because I just made it in a hurry I don't know it's around I did it a, a year back or something and I have looked upon that till now so yeah I'm just taking out time right now these days to actually build a community and uh, yeah here we are so in this web series again we'll be learning how to convert existing websites into responsive design and I'm gonna start off with my own website and as a matter of fact i have made this website local to my computer right now so that any change we make is not reflected on the live website obviously we do not want that so you can see that it's actually pointing to codedam.com but i have just made a local copy of this by editing the host file and the vhost configuration you do not need to worry about that that's not the matter subject today so i'm just going to show you that if i stop it it doesn't work so yeah it's 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 a local copy right so yeah anyhow so that is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we're going to actually see what you need to do to convert a website like this into responsive design so see you then